Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is count squares sum matrices with all ones. Given an m times n matrix of ones and zeros, return how many squares sum matrices have all ones. Let's say we've been given a matrix like this. Uh, at point this point here, you can see that there's a one by one matrix square of ones, but there's also a two by two matrix of ones and also a three by three. So at this point, there's actually a total of three possible squares with all ones. Here, there's going to be itself as well as this square here. So there'll be two squares and so on and so forth with a total of 15 in this entire matrix. In order to solve this, you could simply write a multiple for loops and check at every point to see how many ones total like all are going to be ones so at here we can check um, it's a zero so we can just skip that here we can check okay there's at least one square what about the two by two what about the three by three and do that for every single point but that's tricky and also inefficient because you'll be writing a lot of for loops to get that to work what if we changed our thinking a little bit instead of starting considering this to be the starting point what if we considered that to be the starting point? Well, then slowly as some sort of dynamic programming solution comes to mind. The only thing we need to check really is, is the point at the top and the point at the left and the point right here diagonally all ones or, or at least greater than zero. And if that's the case, then we know that there's at least one more square here. So think about that for a second. Like if we just checked here to see, okay, how many sub like sub squares of ones uh, are are in this square here, we can traverse through the array and kind of sum up how many squares at each point that we could have summed up. And if we did that slowly, we begin to see this greedy method occur, um, and we can take the minimum point well okay so say we check here and if all three of these points are greater than zero take the minimum one out of these three and add it to this matrix here and now that's going to be a two and what that tells us later is when we move down here we can check the same thing and if all of those are greater than zero we'll take the minimum point because that's going to be the minimum number of squares that were in all the subsquares before that and add that here. And that actually allows us to so slowly build up the number of subsquares there are. And we can do that in one pass. We don't have to do these recursive sort of calls or, or multiple for loops. It's very, very similar to the minimum path problem and Hopefully it'll start making sense as we move forward. So like imagine we had a matrix like this, right? And forget taught the top row and the first column because those, whatever they are, aren't ever gonna have sub squares inside of them, right? So if we start here, we can check, all right, are all three of these greater than zero? And it's not. So it's only gonna be this square here at this, at this point. So we can just move on. But what about here? We know that all these are greater than zero. So there's gonna be at least one subsquare. So we take the minimum between these three and we add it to ourselves. So that's gonna be a two. What about here? Well, the minimum, they're all greater than one or zero and the minimum is just gonna be still one. So at the end of the day, there's still only just one, one extra square. So we just add two there. And we can move on moving forward like this. And what about here though? Well, now that we've gone to this point, we see all two of these have twos. So there's actually a minimum of two squares um, before of what we've kind of accumulated. So now that's going to be three. And we just add up all of these. That's going to equal to 15. Um, so we can add those amounts as we traverse through the array. So hopefully that made sense. Let's see if we could solve it or code it out. So let's start with the height and the height's going to be length of the matrix, right? It's going to be a number of rows. And what about the width? That's going to be length of matrix yeah, zero like that. Okay, cool. Let's initialize count and say four. Um, well, let's start with the top row. Okay, so we'll go, let's see, for 
um, I guess, column in width. We'll just say, um, uh, well, we can just add, add them up, count and say matrix, whatever's at the first row and column, just add those in there. Cool. So now we can do the, the first column and that's going to be for row in height. And one thing to note is we'll actually need to, uh, we don't want to double count, so we'll have to skip one and we'll say, all right, we'll just go to range of one to the height like this. And again, we'll just add up everything in the column. So this will be row in the first column. So great, now, now we could start our, our traversal and how that's, how that's gonna work is we'll start at for row in range of one of height and for column in range of one of width like this. Okay, now what do we need to check? Well, first we need to check if this is even equal to one because if it's not, then it doesn't matter. We can just go ahead and move on. Um, so if matrix of row column I'm going to copy paste that because I'll be writing that a lot. Uh, if it equals one and if the top is greater than zero and the left is greater than zero and the diagonal is greater than zero. So to get that to work, we'll say the top, the call to, oops, to our left and to our diagonal all of these are greater than zero, then we know that there's at least one more, um, one more sub square at this point. So what we'll do is we'll take the minimum between these three and we'll add that to our count. So count goes plus equals the minimum um, between these two these three points okay and then after that we can just add our um, point here so if it's like whether it's zero or one we can just add that to account and that'd be fine so that should solve everything let me see if that actually worked Hmm. Uh oh. Let's see here. Int object is for calling in width. So I must have. Ah, uh, forgot the range. Okay. Uh oh. So it looks like we skipped one. Range of height equals one greater than zero, greater than zero, greater than zero. Count min, huh? Let me try if that works. Okay, yeah. So I I forgot that you actually need to update the comp, the index itself, and okay. So take it accepted. It's it's a little bit hard to explain, uh, but it's really similar to the minimum minimum sum path problem. Uh, the only difference is we we'll also need to check. The diagonal point because in the minimum path problem all you can do is go down or right but here we'll also need to check this diagonal point here but we don't need to check everything from the back because we'll be iter like iteratively summing those up as we go along okay thank you